Okay, so ito na yung topic natin class. So this is uh, the first chapter uh, of uh, of the subject uh, school food service management. Although of course, yeah, it, uh, food service doesn't only concentrate. Uh, it's not only being concentrated on uh, only one aspect, but malawak kasi yung scope ng food service. So for the learning outcomes, define food service, enumerate and describe the types of food service industry. And of course, uh, for you to <coughs> uh, to identify or to learn, okay, uh, to know the history, the short history of food service. Introduction. Food uh, and beverage service is the essential link between customers and the menu, beverages, and other services on offer in an establishment. Yung server or your or, or yung food attendant, siya yung main point of contact between the customer and the establishment, and plays an important role in a profession with increasing national and international status. Kaya marami ngayon ang uh, na-engage no, into food service. To be successful in food and beverage industry or food and beverage service, it requires a sound product knowledge. Dapat alam mo kung ano yung nasa menu, kung ano yung pinaprepare uh, ng chef, kung ano yung... Uh, meron sa inyong anong meron sa inyong restaurant and etc especially dapat yung ano nung pinaka menu no well develop interpersonal skills as a frontliner no ikaw yung umaharap sa mga guest customer dapat uh, meron kang qualities no na at uh, da pwedeng pwede do sa pagiging isang uh, frontliner or FNB uh, attendant or food attendant FA a range of technical skills so, ayun nga no pagdating sa ano no uh, yung sa proper uh, pag ng serve uh, ng uh, yung pagse-serve na food yung table setting ay mga ganyan no uh, dapat may knowledge ka if you are going to work in uh, a food uh, establishment uh, or uh, mag-focus ka mag-concentrate ka sa food service industry then, the ability to work as part of a team. Anyway, ito naman is sa lahat naman ng ano, no, trabaho, kailangan na dapat ano, ka, team player ka. This is the history no, of food service. Food service through the ages. Kita niyo mga pictures dyan. No? Merong Egypt, eh, uh, ancient Egypt, and Chinese, no, uh, ancient uh, uh, Rome or the Roman then hanggang sa and naging uh, modernized na first meron kasi tayong iba't ibang ano uh, ayan dito yata sa huli sige later na lang balikan ko na lang food service through the ages nagsimula in uh, ancient times so in ancient times before 10,000 BC uh, tribes in Denmark and the islands of the coast of Scotland cooked food in large kitchens and ate in large groups. Then, around 5000 BC, Swiss lake dwellers were known to have dined also in large groups. Then, uh, there's also uh, pictorial evidence in tombs and templates of ancient or ancient Egyptians revealed their practice of preparing and serving food in large quantities and selling of food by vendors in streets and market places. And then, uh, <coughs> yung ano naman, ito yung picture, ancient Chinese. Oh, so, ito yung nasa unahan. Uh, the records that uh, show that travelers ate and stayed in roadside inns taverns <coughs> and restaurants uh, 
that existed in large uh, urban cities where rice, wine, and other food items were sold. Then, sa India naman, ancient laws in India were passed to control the operation of roadside inns, taverns, and food services. Then, sa Greeks naman, ancient Greeks did much dining in public. Sana aliw lang ako sa picture na to, class. So, ito yung ngayon, may mga nag a sa atin yan, no? yung uh, tipong cheese boards, no? may sa pag nag a no? pagkasasyal yung dating, eh. cheese boards, no? yan. Usually, yeah, may wine. Hindi ba gumagawa nito ngayon eh. Na, medyo nauso yan. Na, pero hindi siya ganong nag, ano, eh, nagtagal. Pero may mga gumagawa nito. Naghahanda sila. Or, parang Greece, uh, Greek style. So, uh, ancient Greeks did much dining in public with their social life centering on public feasts and banquets. So, dati eh. Uh, gustong, di ba, usong-uso yan. No? During ano, no, no. Unang panahon, no, yung mga nasa mayaman, no, mga romance, no, they love uh, yung mga feasts, banquets, no, so, ayun yung mga gustong-gusto nila. Then, yun na nga, no, your romance, they love feasting, and several emperors were so fond, fond of lavish banquets that they overspent the country's money. Diba, yung pag nanonood tayo na movie, uh, yung mga before, no, uh, during the Roman Empire, no, maano sila ng mga feast, no, may pa, ano pa, eh, may pagka, uh, parang si Juice, para, <laughs> yung parang, parang medyo pagka si Juice, uh, si Juice yung dating, no, the way na magkumain sila, no, yan. Then, uh, luxurious uh, dining, hence the term lokolan to mean lavish. Lokolan to mean lavish. Then, ancient Rome had uh, tabernas from which the word tavern originated, which were, uh, these are small restaurants serving food and wine. Then, see si Apicius, as a Roman epicure, he wrote uh, the first cookbook entitled Cookery and Dining in Imperial Rome and described the Roman feast as consisting of three courses namely so ito yan yung yung una gustasyo so, gustasyo it is a group of appetizers eh yung gustasyo a uh, group of appetizers then uh, isa pang course is yung meats and vegetables of different kinds and last is dessert okay, or yung fruits and sweets <coughs> Aliw talaga ako sa picture na to. Then, next, din na tayo sa Middle Ages. So, during that time, quantity food production uh, was practiced by monks in the monasteries and abbeys. Then, yung mga master crafts, man. So, ito yung mga, uh, during that time, no, yung mga individuals na uh, expert sa kanilang field. So, so ito mga master craftsmen na ito, they later practiced food service, gained knowledge of baking, wine, and beer making, and cooking from communities. Then, dyan na rin uh, lumabas yung mga famous liquors such as Grand Marnier, Contru, Chartreau, Benedictine were developed. Ayan yung mga liquors. Then, during that time, eating was still crude, but it was uh, slowly refined towards the end of the Middle Ages, primarily due to French influence. So, kasi pag, when you, pag inisip mo ang cuisine, di ba, unang papasok sa isip mo, French, no? nag-originate sa France, no? Kaya, ano, if napanood nyo na yung, ano, yung... Julie and Julia. Panoorin nyo yung class. No? Ang, ganda, ang ganda ng movie na yun. And this one of uh, my uh, favorite movies of all time. <laughs> Julie and Julia. Panoorin nyo. Actually, kagabi pina, pinapanood ko eh. Kagabi. Then, uh, still under uh, the ano, no? uh, Middle Ages, uh, various guilds arose to organize food service professionals. Example of which is the Chain de Rotisserie, or Guild of Roasters chartered in Paris in the 12th 
20th century wherein it had a monopoly on the production of its specialties. Okay, uh, and then deals developed into classic kitchen organizations. Diyan na pumasok yung chef's tall hat or talk, yung uh, chef's hat. It became a symbol of the apprentice and later yung black hat it symbolized master chef. Although during that time, black pa yung, ano, yung, yung color and it symbolizes nobility, yung black. Then there comes the early renaissance. Okay, sa early renaissance, uh, the, uh, dyan na yung development ng hot uh, cuisine in France. Pag sinabi mong uh, hot cuisine, it is the preparation and cooking of high quality food following the style of traditional French cuisine. Okay, during that time, the marriage of Henry II of France and Catherine de Medici of Italy in 1533 was instrumental in the development of French cuisine. O, sila yun, sa kanila nag-start. The Medici's become great patrons of art and were known to serve the finest food and drink. Then, ice cream was introduced to the French. Knives, forks, and spoons were used instead of fingers and daggers. Ayan, dyan na nagsimula yung paggamit ng mga kubiertos. Then, the trend towards fine food service was continued by Henry II's nephew, Henry IV, who became uh, known in history as a great gourmet. Then, the subsequent queen, uh, kings of France continued their interest in food and dining and eventually encouraged the development of chefs and culinary personnel as well as fine recipes. Then, King Louis XIV encouraged the development of good chef schools. Then, King Louis the XV uh, advanced the science and art of cooking and his wife, Maria Lezicinska, daughter of the famous king of Poland, closely supervised the kitchen, set high standards of food quality, and served elaborate dishes. Then, after the French Revolution, Diyan na pumasok kaya, ayan, yung mga uh, former servants of the nobility. Ginamit nila yung kanilang cooking skills in restaurants. Then, restaurants were set up in... Uh, then, in 1600, yung first coffee houses were opened in France. Diba? And eventually, in great cities of Euro Europe. Coffee, cocoa, and mild alcoholic beverages were also served. Then, in 760... Boulanger uh, opened an eating place in France uh, where, they, uh, no, where they serve soups believed to be of high, uh, highly nutritious which uh, they believe uh, it brought a uh, cure for many ailments considered as health restorer the place was called kaya yun, health restorer and the place was called restorer R-E-S-T-A-U-R-E-R and the enterprise known as Restaurante. No? Restaurante. And later on, it, uh, it was called uh, Restaurant. Then, many coffee houses were soon opened. Following Boulanger's example, soon, Paris had over 500 restaurants considered as the beginning of modern food service. Ayan sa pag-end ng ano na ng uh, sa early renaissance. Then, yan na, industrial revolution starting at the end of the 18th century. The industrial re revolution it brought about the middle class composed of entrepreneurs, shopkeepers, industrialists and financiers who began to dominate the social and economic life in Europe. Great chefs, no, na hire na yung mga great chefs. Food was served in exclusive establishments, and dining out became more popular during the Industrial Revolution. Ijo na nagano yung mga alfresco. <laughs> okay, then advancement of science. Si Nicholas Appert, siya yung nakatiscover ng canning, and other scientists made technological discoveries 
that advance food processing and manufacturing, making available the resources needed for the development of the food service industry. Then, here comes the, uh, the golden age of cuisine. Diyan napapasok yung pangalang Marie Antoine Karim and August Escoffier. Okay, so si Karim uh, is uh, credited for the following. Siya yung nag-introduce na concept of the progression of courses in a dinner and a sequence of proper wine. Ayan, to accompany them. Then, siya yung nag, uh, perfect ng soup consomme. Uh, yung soup consomme, yun yung Ah, uh, yun yung sabaw sa pares. <laughs> Arte, di ba? <laughs> ano, yung ano, yung yung sabaw, yung sabaw ibibring sabaw sa karinderya, no? Yung broth uh, na uh, inaano lang, no? Ina-adjust ng konti para maging sabaw. Okay, yung buyon. So, yun yung so, yun yung consomme. Talagang pinerfect pa talaga no, eh, nung panahon na yun, no? Si Karim, siya yung ah, uh, nag teka lang, may yung nag He perfected the soup consomme. <laughs> yun lang yun, yun sa Paris. <laughs> Isabaw. Clear soup, yun. Then, uh, developed, he also developed many French sauces and dishes. Then, he also trained a large number of famous chefs. Who well, eventually worked in clubs and restaurants. Then, si ano naman, si Escoffier. Siya is also another famous chef. Is known to have uh, perfected classical organizations of workers in the kitchen. Okay, pagiging organize sa kusina and uh, define the responsibilities ng nabawa yung uh, si yung head chef, si ano yung iba't iba may iba't iba tayong klasing chef. Okay, tapos uh, may cook bukod do sa cook. No. Then, written many articles and cookbooks and invented peach melba and melba toast, okay, which is named after a famous singer, Nelly Melba. Developed sound rules in quantity food preparation and teamed with Cesar Ritz, a famous hotelier, in operating the finest hotels in Europe. And Escoffier also simplified the menu. Okay, so ito na, uh, food service in the United States. So, sa U US, dyan na nag-operate yung mga coffee houses, uh, particularly in New York, Boston, Philadelphia, and other key American cities during colonial times. Then, dyan na rin nag-start yung mga institutional feeding. So, in, uh, it's practiced in orphanages, hospitals, prisons, and other establishments. Then, in the 19th century, hotels in the U.S. increased in number. Famous chefs from Europe were brought to the U.S. Then, after nung, ano, no, ng American Civil War, mas maraming hotel at restaurant ang binuksan. Then, uh, came uh, the post-war expansion where food services began to grow. After the war, often prompted by the need for institutional feeding, then big hotel chains were formed, then, then eating out became part of the people's way of life during that time. Then, ayan na, yung mga fast food chain, ayan, naging very popular na. So, yung mga fast food or the quick service concept was developed in response to the needs of people who have to eat and run. The then, the development of uh, the f uh, food service industry in the U.S. were carried over to other countries, including the Philippines. Okay. So, puti na tayo sa, uh, let's now proceed to the segments of the food service industry. Uh, marami kasi yan. Mayroon tayong commercial, institutional feeding, transport feeding, health service feeding, clubs, military feeding, correctional institutions, central commissaries. Yan. So, sa commercial operations, it is considered as the largest division of the food service industry uh, and also responsible for the uh, bulk of the sales, operating pro for profit, so, this type of operation includes eating places, bars and tavernas, food contractors, lodging places, retail hosts, 
recreational sports center, vending machines, and mobile caterers. So, ito yung medieval tavern. O, oh, yan. Sarap, oh, parang asarap mag, ano, dyan, eh, na magtambay. Then, this is the modern tavern. So, restaurants and lunch rooms. So, yung restaurants and lunch rooms, uh, it usually includes fine dining and uh, often offer entertainment, some serve wine, and other alcoholic beverages. Then, yung mga family restaurants naman, ito yung mga pictures. Yung mga family restaurants naman offer more casual family dining. Offering popular foods such as hamburgers and sandwiches. And then, ito ay uh, 50s Diner is also a themed restaurant. no? Uh, also, maybe called the California Menu Food Services. Where it uh, offers um, breakfast, dinners, snacks, and other foods in uh, one menu. Available at any time of the day. So, uh, they are known for relatively uh, low prices. They operate 24 hours a day and are usually located in higher traffic areas. So, meron ito sa ano? Sa Baguio. Natanakatry na rin ako nan. Uh, 50s diner. Ayun, uh, natry nyo na rin yan, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, then, the limited menu or quick service. Restaurants offer a few menu items where service is fast. They aim for a high seat turnover rate. Kaya mabilisan, no? Kaya yun yung mga pag magda-dine in kayo. Then, uh, dahil nga, ano, fast food, na-experience nyo na yan, no? Yung, ah, hindi ka patapos kumain. <laughs> Puno yung dining, no? May nakaabang na kagad, no? Na customer. Serving food that are quickly prepared, served and consumed, such as pizzas, hamburgers, Salads and carbonated uh, beverages, and most of them offer uh, drive-through services and are owned by chain operations. Then commercial cafeteria. So, ito example, ito yung uh, food court, uh, So patrons line up to get food served at the counter, consisting of hot and cold items, menu boards, this. On, uh, in the menu offerings and corresponding prices. Example, yung mga food court. Then, social caterers. Ayan yung mga catering. Hindi ko na-upload yung picture namin dyan. Nung, ano, kami ay nag-cater pa. So, food and beverages are usually uh, prepared in central kitchen and served elsewhere. Okay, ito na yung, the next are the food contractors or contract feeding. Food contractors, they are uh, paid to take over the food service operations of either the commercial or non-commercial organizations for a share of profit. Pero hindi sa kanila yung ano, unlike do sa uh, institutional feeding. No? So, meron lang, uh, may kontrata lang no? hanggang kailan sila. Uh, magti-take over dun sa food service operation ng isang uh, uh, commercial or uh, non-commercial organization. Then, ayan, yung mga contracted of uh, food services, they often run a cafeteria. Then, lodging places, ito naman yun, sa mga hotel, kain na, ang ganda, no? Kain na sa mga hotel, so the food and hotel and other, ano, no, uh, places. Food and Beverage F&B Department of a Hotel is a fine complex setup where a number of different types of food services with varied concepts are operated. So, sa isang hotel, usually may coffee shop, uh, may bar, nightclub, ito, fine dining, specialty restaurants, cafeteria also, room service, and employees dining room. Retail stores, wala dyan. So, yung retail stores, ito yung uh, nasa labas ng, ano, no, na, bawa, na SM Grocery. Di ba, may mga tabi-tabing mga kainan. So, yun yung mga retail stores. So, this is uh, the present trend 
Oh, it's for food services to be operated side by side with retail outlets such as drug stores, department stores, variety stores, convenience stores, groceries, or gas stations. Then yung mga recreational food service naman, ito yung, uh, yung halimbawa sa EK, mga amusement parks, yung mga ano doon, yung mga uh, kainan, no? Uh, recreational food service, it includes food service as part of sports facilities, amusement parks, convention centers, zoo, yan, mga botanical garden. Pero usually, hindi natin masabing mura eh. <laughs> Di ba, ang mahal din, ang mahal ng pagkain sa EK, kaya may <laughs> iwan nagbabaon. Uh, uh, although, um, uh, yun nga, uh, uh, food uh, usually includes low cost to high profit menu such as hot dogs, ice cream, soft drinks, popcorn. Then, ayan na, yung mobile caterers. So, ayan, sa usong-uso yan sa US. Mga mobile caterers, uh, uh, a fast-growing segment, trucks, vans, jeeps, and other mobile units. Uh, they visit areas such as schools, factories, amusement parks to sell their food. Sa US, usong-uso yan. Sa, t- sa Makati, ano naman yun? Ano ba yun? Tawag doon? Uh, mga mobile, ano din, no? Kainan. Tawag doon, eh. Jolly Jeep. <laughs> Jolly Jeep. And then, yung vending machines. So, sa, y- sa, y- sa atin, ang vending machines lang kasi natin dito, mga ano lang, eh. Uh, tawag, soft drinks, beverage lang, eh, no? Uh, yan, sa ibang offices no, sa ibang bansa, ay yung mga vending machines nila, or sa school ayan, ang mga menu dyan, may sandwich, may salad, pastries fruit juice, ayan yung mga laman and yung mga food, pineprepare of course, sa central commissary ito yung retail stores and recreational food service then, uh, institutional feeding. So, nandiyan, no? Uh, it consists of commercial and non-commercial private and public organizations which operate food service in support of the objectives of the establishment. So, halimbawa dyan, uh, bas, uh, but of course, as distinguished from food contractors, so, yung mga establishment na to manage their own uh, food service operation. Examples, hospitals, nursing homes, schools, colleges, and universities. So, opposite. Okay. So, yung, yung sa food contractors, mali pala ako klaso. Yung sa food contractors, ito yung meron silang uh, kontrata. Sila yung mag-run ng, alimbawa, sa isang company or sa BPO company, for example. Uh, meron doon nagtitinda si Ate Odette. <laughs> alimbawa, <laughs> si Ate Odette nag-run siya na sarili niyang ano doon, uh, cafeteria. So, may kontrata yon. So, uh, like yung alibawa din sila Kuya Tony. Ayun, yun yung sa uh, food contractors. Sa example lang yun, sila Kuya Tony sa canteen. So, uh, may kahati ng profit. Baliktad ako kla, sorry. So, dito sa institutional feeding naman, sarili nilang uh, uh, food uh, food service operation. Okay? So, uh, they manage their own. Yan. Examples, hospital sourcing, colleges, and universities. So, sa ibang university, sa ibang school, meron din mga food contractors doon. Do meron din uh, university. Sa school, sa, sa atin, kasi hindi ko alam kung uh, food contractor ba sila. Kuya Tony or sa PUP mismo yung may-ari and sila lang yung taga, ano, no, taga serve. I'm not sure, pero I think ano sila contractors doon. No, uh, yun nga, but there are some universities na yung mga masusungit na canteen lady, no, <laughs> sila din kasi, no, ayun, uh, sila din yung may-ari. Although may ibang uh, establishments na uh, they run their own, ano, uh, uh, dito, food service operation. Ayan, employee feeding usually consists of cafeterias operating in school systems, cruise ships, and industrial companies. Tapos, transport feeding, airline feeding, railroad, food service, bus food service, and ship food service. So, air, airline, so it's lar- it is the largest segment trans- in transportation food service. So, ito ang food dito ay pinoproduce sa, again, central commissary, which may cater to dif- many different airlines. Okay. Then, the r- rail- railroad food service. Uh, meals are served in passenger trains with dining areas and snack bars in 
Poche. So, wala sa atin ito sa ibang bansa. No? Europe, meron yan. Bus food service. Sa ito, ang very common sa atin. No? Ito yung mga uh, food and beverage served in bus terminals. O, ito yung mga nag-aalok-alok. Ito tayo pa'y pinupuntahan minsan. Then, ship food service. Uh, meals served in ships may be as elaborate as hotel set up in cruise lines and as simple as family meals in crew liners in menu depending largely on the anyway wag na yun uh, so basta ito yung sa mga cruise line no yan uh, ships then the health service feeding ito naman yung mga meals na sinaserve mainly in hospitals nursing homes home for the aged and orphanage club so yung club naman uh, ito yung mga membership clubs no? yung mga may recreation uh, and bawa yung sa isang executive village no meron sila mga ano doon membership clubs no where in they socialize no uh, yung mga member doon uh, can enjoy yung mga fee, uh, perks no yung mga benefits ng uh, membership nung sa, sa club na yon okay so meron din sila mga ano doon uh, food service and ano na pag social ano So, although dito, ang, ang cost of food sa, sa club, no, cl- uh, they are generally lower than in commercial establishment. Tapos, alimbawa dito yung Tagaytay Highlands, no, yan, mga iba't ibang klase, mga may pangyayamanin. Ano. Then, military feeding, food service in military camps, correctional institutions, jails, reform, uh, reformatories, Then, ito na yung Central Commissaries. So, yung Central Commissaries, uh, these are food services na nag-ooperate katulad ng isang food factory. So, ito ay mass production. Okay, meron sila mga assembly lines. They use large capacity and special equipment din. Dinidispose nila at dinideliver sa iba't ibang uh, mga establishments. No? Like yung mga, for example, yun nga yung... Uh, yung sa mga vending machines or yung sa airline no? yung mga sa airline naman galing talaga sa central commissaries yung kanilang uh, mga sinuserve sa kanilang passengers ito na yung types of food service operations dyan yung bistro yan yung example ay nambawa pizza hut bistro so tanugtong din to nung kanina dinagdag ko lang to Type, uh, types of food service operations bistro So, often as yan picture, often a smaller establishment with check, tablecloths, bent wood chairs, cluttered decor, and friendly informal staff. Kasi pag mga fine dining or first class restaurant, para meron sila sina- sinusunod ng mga script doon at ano eh, na, no, no, uh, depende sa customer. Usually, pag mga bistro, um, can communicate or you can uh, have an informal talk with uh, the staff tends to be to offer honest, basic, and robust cooking. Mabilisan. Then, saan na ba ako? Brasserie. Okay, so, brasserie. Yan, nandiyan, no? It is a large styled room no? with a long bar. Okay, nakapasok na kayo siguro sa sa mga uh, sa establishments no? na ganyan. At uh, normally serving one plate items. No? And the no, service by waiters often in traditional style of long aprons and black waistcoats. Brasserie. Halimbawa nito, eh, uh, pwede rin natin ano yung Chili's Grill and Bar Restaurant. No? May mga tables doon. They also have a bar sa loob. Ito, mamahal din ang pagkain doon. Okay, ang brasserie at New Way Brasserie is also called Gastrodome. Yan, ang ano niya is sleek modern interior design coupled with uh, similar approaches to contemporary cuisine and service. Mas higher level ito. Busy and bu- uh, bustling and often large and multi-level. So, mas social si ano, uh, New Way Brasserie. And then, uh, coffee shop. Ayan. Okay. Love na love natin ang coffee shop. It's similar to brasserie style operation. Often themed. It, nagsaserve din sila ng aside from coffee. Meron din silang meal uh, from breakfast to 
dinner or pasta or snacks. Yeah, the first class restaurant. So it's a very formal, no, fine dining restaurant with classical preparation and presentation of food. So ito yung mayroong isang ano, ito hindi ka pwedeng bus uh, pwedeng mag-walk in dito. Dapat ito ay uh, may nagpapa-reserve ka, may reservation ito. Ito yung uh, pagka nag-dine in ka, uh, may isang set ng menu from appetizer to dessert. Okay, kaya kung papasinin nyo sa mga fine dining, parang ang konti-konti lang ng sineserve nila. Okay? Kasi isang set yan. At reservation yan. Hindi pwedeng dine, dine in. Hindi katulad ng mga regular restaurant. So, kala natin yung mga pinupuntahin natin restaurants, fine dining mo. But it's not. No? It's uh, just a regular restaurant. Uh, ang first class dyan na yung talagang mga fine dining na experience. At ang mamahal. <laughs> okay. Nag-range siya ng mga 20,000 o 20 pataas. Ayan yung mga uh, fine dining. Not sure kung mayroon tent. Hindi pa naman ako naka-experience din niya ng fine dining. Pero ang alam ko talaga mababa na yung uh, siguro 10k. Sobrang ano na. Pero ang alam ko nasa 20. No. Ayan. 20 pataas depende do sa ano nung do sa brand no ng restaurant nung find the uh, first class restaurant and uh, oh uh, yan uh, it depende do sa uh, si- type of service pwede siyang silver service Garidon Garidon ito yung nagluluto sa harapan mo yung chef yung nagluluto sa harapan ng guest and or plated It's often associate, associated with classic or hot cuisine.